Hey there folks, I'm Ruby Juice, and today I wanted to talk to you about the Unit Convert Light mod, which is my new favorite mod for Farming Simulator 19. Now as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it doesn't say liters for wheat as I'm harvesting here. It shows the bushels and it also shows the yield. I'm getting 189 bushels per acre. So this amazing mod converts all of the units in the game into other units that you can choose and you can configure on your own. And we see here it's showing the yield again, bushels per acre, and if I stop the combine, it switches back to bushels. And another really cool thing about this mod is it shows you the area you've worked with a particular piece of equipment in this session. So if we take a look and I hit shift one, you look in the bottom right hand corner now, it shows me I've done just over 1.5 acres with this combine so far, coming up on 1.6. And if I want to reset that amount, I just hit Shift 2, and it goes back to zero, starts counting up again. You can also set the mod to show you different types of units. So right now we're looking at bushels, but if I hit Shift T, it'll switch to pounds, and I've set it up that way myself. Now another example here, the mod treats seeds like crops, so it by default shows them in bushels, but I did change it so that I can show it in pounds. So while it doesn't show pounds per acre like it showed yield in bushels per acre with the combine, it still shows you the number of pounds. And by using the handy calculation in the bottom right hand corner of how many acres we've worked, you can actually calculate how many pounds per acre you're seeding for each crop. Now this may not be that exciting to most people, but I really like it and I think it's a cool feature to make things even a little bit more realistic. So how do I download this mod, you say? Well, let me show you. So first things first, you need to head to Thunder's Farming Simulator World on Facebook, or at ThunderFS on Facebook, and I'll provide a link to the page in the description below. Now Thunder has done an amazing job on this mod, and I really want to give him a ton of credit. This thing must have been a lot of work, and I know I was really excited to find this mod and be able to tell my yield per acre and be able to convert the units to bushels or gallons or whatever else I wanted to turn it into. And so I think it's a really great thing for people to be able to convert their units into whatever they want. So to download the mod, you go to Thunder's Farming Simulator World on Facebook, scroll down a little ways, you'll see a post with the latest update from July 24th. It's beta 9, and there's a link to download it right there on the page. Thunder has been updating this mod fairly frequently, so I wouldn't be surprised if by the time you see this video, there's even been another update. But of course, always keep in mind that these people do have real lives too, so we can't expect them to be coming out with updates all the time. So if you click the link to download the mod, you'll be taken to this page. Just download the mod, put it into your mod folder, and then comes the fun part, trying to customize it. So I found the easiest way to customize this mod is to start up the game once with it in your mods folder. It will create a UC Lite XML document in your Farming Simulator 19 directory. And from there, you can edit that XML to do what you want. So first things first, make sure it's in your mods folder. It should look like this FS19 unit convert light and it's gotta be the zip file, of course. So then make sure you're in your Farming Simulator 19 directory. For me, it's my PC documents, my games, Farming Simulator 2019. I have it installed through Steam. I'm not sure if it's the same if you bought it directly from Giants or have the disc version, but that's what the directory is like for me. Then you see all these files, your save games, all that stuff. If you scroll down near the bottom, so like I said, there's a UC Lite XML document here. So from there, right click on that UC Lite, open with notepad, and it will pop up something that looks like this. Now what you see here is the conversion factors for all of the different units. These are the different units that are included in the mod. Now you could add in your own unit with its own conversion factor, but I believe you'd have to talk to Thunder to figure out what these factors are based on in terms of what they're converting from. The precision you see here is how many decimal places each one is set to. So you saw in the earlier part of the video with the bushels, it didn't show any decimal places. With the pounds, it didn't show any decimal places. You could have it set so it shows one or two decimal places if you wanted to, but I chose to have it at zero because I don't need to be that precise and I just think it looks cleaner without it. But that's all up to personal preference. Now here you see the different fill type groups. So there's grain, liquid, and other. So to understand what we have here, we kind of need to go down to the bottom first. So the different fill types, these are every different type of material in the game, and it tells you which group it falls under, and you can change these around as well. And all the crops, most of them fall under grain, but some of them fall under other as well. You see cotton falls under other. 
things like potatoes fall under other as well, because we typically don't measure those things in bushels or liters, we measure them in tons or pounds. So when you look at each fill type group, we'll look at grain for starters. You've got vehicle one and vehicle two. These are the things that I was toggling between. So when I was hitting shift T, which is the default key bind for toggling between the two different units, I was toggling between bushels and pounds. And the same for liquid, you can have it so you can toggle between US gallons and liters. And it will show you both and it will show you them accurately. It won't show the same number with just a different name. It'll actually show you the volume in that specific unit. I'm not quite as clear on what it means for animal and price, but I believe that it means anything relating to an animal will be measured in pound if it's grain, gallons if it's liquid, and pounds if it's other, and that the prices are shown in bushels or gallons or tons, depending on which item you're looking at in the price menu. And if we take a look here, you see that yes, my price menu has converted to price per bushel instead of price per liter. So for wheat, our silo capacities have been converted to bushels, and also the prices are showing the price per bushel instead of the price per liter. So it's clearly a very comprehensive mod changing a lot of the different portions of the game to show you everything in the same units. And of course you can customize it so that the price doesn't show bushel US, it actually shows liters. And all you'd have to do is just save your XML, restart your game, and then it would show it in the next time you started the game. And of course, if you think any of these items belong in a different category, you can change it yourself. If you really want water to be a grain, you can do that and it'll be measured in bushels instead of liters or gallons. So really this is highly customizable and not that difficult. All you gotta do is open this UC Lite XML in Notepad, make your changes, save it, and then restart your game. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative and I hope you're as excited about this mod as I am. Remember to thank Thunder's Farming Simulator World for creating this mod and updating it, and I'll see you next time.